everybody, so we're back with uh, part two of that question. I remembered what I had to say after I was Finally. interrupted uh, by Juan. So we ran to the store, which is why we got clothes on. I mean, different clothes on, and I'll be in the answer Why we got two. clothes on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we normally yeah. walk around naked. Why we have <laughs> outside clothes on. Um, but one thing that we needed to address um, that I would not feel right about if we did not address it is the fact that you have to think about being in a relationship with a person who's HIV positive and you are HIV negative. Um, the obvious thing that you have to think about is obviously your health and protecting yourself to make sure you stay negative. But in addition to that, which I think that it's probably a lot more challenging to deal with is the emotional and the mental uh, issues that come along with that. Because, I mean, you can easily protect yourself and know you have to do that. But what about the emotional roller coaster and the, and the mental anguish that your partner is going to be going through just finding out that he's HIV positive? I, um, I've actually lived through this. I've known a couple of my friends have been diagnosed um, as HIV positive. And years ago, somebody that I was dating was diagnosed as HIV positive. Mm -hmm. And the mental anguish, like you said, alone kind of ruined friendships and ruined the relationship. Like, he couldn't take it at all. It's like, I don't even want to be around you knowing that I have this. My friends would just went into seclusion when he found out, right. just totally withdrawn. So you have to realize the emotional stability you will need to have, which it doesn't even sound like you're there yet, but you will have to be that person's rock. You're going to have to be that person's kind of glimpse into reality the the hope that it's not a death sentence yeah. because it, you no one knows how they're going to react when they find out that information you haven't spoken to him in a long time mm -hmm. you don't know what he's going through so you have to be prepared for that too yeah you? and you know another thing now that you say that you have to think about how he might he may feel abandoned in some way oh you know the fact that he fucked up obviously and got this disease or excuse me this virus and you jump ship. Not saying that you're not supposed to, or you know, you don't have you have the right to feel the way how you feel, but you don't know how he's feeling. So, you know, and are you going to be able to not resent him for bringing HIV into the relationship? That's going to be a constant reminder. Yeah, constant reminder. So, I would leave with this note: if you do decide to pursue another relationship with him, get counseling because you guys will definitely need therapy to get through. Everybody needs therapy, period. But you will definitely need some counseling to help you guys get through this I situation because you have too much to get over. And thank you for coming back and watching part two. <laughs> we had to get that out. <laughs> thank you. Love you all.